All right, have and have not fans. We have a new episode coming tonight. The last episode of January 2020, Season 7, Episode 4, Evil Offspring. And this is a fan-submitted theory. Um, I was sent this on my Instagram via DM, and the person who came up with the theory uh, said, you know, hey, uh, don't say my name in the video, just keep it on the DL. But I just had to thank this individual for coming up with this theory, and I hope they're watching. I'm pretty sure they'll DM me after they watch the video, so big thanks to them. But... I did not think of this. I've already done the the uh, why is Queda returning to the series? That video at the time of this recording is over 2,000 hits in like less than a few uh, less than like six hours. So thank you all for that. But I did not think of this theory. It's so amazing, and I kept wondering, you know, is it does it have something to do with the whole follow up on Quincy Maxwell getting revenge on Candace? Will her and Veronica team up? But this theory, and I'm going to get to it right now. This person told me, hey, Jeremy, do you think that possibly Veronica and Quida will kind of team up, not for the sake of the Quincy Maxwell and, you know, Candace revenge thing, but what if, what if Veronica hires Quida and kind of orchestrates it so Quida is in the same cell as Catherine to either fight her, assault her, or some along those lines, kind of like she arranged for Justin to be dealt with in jail, kind of like she put Toxic in the same cell as Wyatt a couple seasons ago when he got, you know, assaulted. She is the ice queen, but also the queen of people being jumped in jail. Now, I don't know how Quita gets down. We know that she's a scrapper. Candace kicked her ass before. So I don't know if Quita will be, you know, put in the cell with Catherine and Veronica might, you know, th hell, that could explain why Veronica's going inside the uh, jail um, area to talk with Catherine. I've already theorized that what if Catherine calls um, Veronica for legal assistance, but we do know that Catherine told Hannah to call Marty, which begs the question of one how how would Hannah get the contact information from Marty? Two, Hannah spent all episode trying to help out, find out intel to save Benny and, you know, call Candace, but never looked once into intel about how to contact Marty. So did she already have the phone number? And what if she can't get in contact with Marty? She sure as hell ain't going to help Veronica, even if it's for the sake of saving Catherine. So I wonder if maybe... Uh, Veronica goes in, sees some people in jail, and then, you know, works her ice queen magic and then, you know, gets a few people in the same cell as Catherine and deal with her because we know Veronica's talking with Catherine. We know that Catherine's going to blame the Jennifer Salson thing on Veronica when it was really her. So will Catherine play nice? Well, I don't think her and Veronica will ever play nice. They understand in some circumstances they do need each other, but there's always going to be the clause, you know, coming out of their fingertips it's like hey you scratch my back i scratch yours but that doesn't mean i won't leave scars Ooh, i like that and i just made that up unless somebody already said that but i want to take credit because it's my video but i think that hey if um Catherine is helped by veronica but she says like the wrong thing veronica will probably orchestrate it so she's dealt with in jail so i it would be interesting. I don't know. Maybe it will be a warlock and gym situation where an, an unholy alliance is formed because we know that um, those two teamed up based off their mutual hate of Candace. And think of it this way. That was after she took the $7.4 million from Jim. So what if in this situation it's about the $8.8 or $9 million that Candace took from the criers and I'm just going to say the criers in general because Jim keeps saying my money when it's Wyatt's inheritance but in actuality it came from Catherine's father and his will so let's just say the criers money okay that'll just um keep it simple but think of Catherine and Quita teaming up and even though Catherine loves her some Hannah and Hannah's always quick to defend that's my child at the same time Candace has done a lot of dirty shit to the criers so Imagine if it comes up about how, you know, Candace took all this money from my family and it's like, well, she took my brother and I don't know if why it's going to overhear any of this and contribute to the conversation. But I think that this could be a way of, you know, Candace being dealt with not just by Kyle and the um, 
the F the feds, but also from these people she screwed over in this town. So what if, you know, Veronica is like, Hey, you know what? I'll help you get out of here as long as you do this to Catherine. But then on the inside, Catherine proves to be a tougher opponent than Quita thought either by using her mind games and her power or they get into a scrap. Catherine is no slouch when it comes to fighting either. We saw her like fight all Celine a couple times, but even though Quita got beaten the hell out of by Candace, I don't think that she would lose to Catherine. But then again, I could be wrong. But do you think they'll become almost like, I'm not going to say friends, but they'll form an alliance against Candace? Do you think Veronica will set up where Quita deals with Catherine on the inside of the jail? What do you think? Like I said before, I love this theory. And also, I'd love you if you hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. Um, we are growing at a pretty good rate here. We should be hitting 20 uh, million views later on today. You know, uh, I don't want to, you know, uh, speak out of turn or jinx myself, but today, based on how well the episode is and if they release clips on Instagram and that the clips are things I have not already talked about, I'll do videos as well. But we are like four videos away from 2,850 uploads on the channel. We are less than 40,000 views from 20 million views. We are less than 40 followers away from 15,000 on Instagram. So social media is blowing up and hopefully all that stuff happens today and then some. Also, if you remember from my recent post on the community tab, I'm saving up money for car repairs. And by repairs, I mean a new set of tires as well as a new piece for my um, door locks. So that's going to run me about six to seven hundred dollars. I spent the past three and a half hours listing 200 items on eBay. Uh, free shipping on everything. I'm talking Pokemon cards, video games, action figures. Make sure you check out my eBay store. Link in the description below. Or if you want to donate a couple bucks to me on PayPal, it's like, hey, Jeremy, you know what? I want to help you pay for your car stuff. There's a link to my PayPal. You can just click on the link, donate however much you want. Trust me, any amount helps out. But with that being said, if you don't have any financial means, go ahead and hit that like button. Comment your thoughts. That stuff helps me out in the long run because it helps against the YouTube's algorithm and helps the video do better, which means more ad revenue. So when I get paid um, during the back half of February, if I don't have the money for the car until late February, guess what? When I get paid, I can take care of everything at once. So with that being said, let me know your thoughts on this theory. Thanks again to the fan who submitted it. And if you come up with any theories of your own, make sure you hit me up. You can do it on Twitter. Um, you can DM me on Instagram. You can leave a comment below. Any method helps because it keeps the community talking about the show. So once again, I hope this episode, to be honest, I already did a tra uh, trailer breakdown last week. This episode to me, based off the trailer alone, this episode has me hype more than the previous three. I hope it's great because you know how I felt about the first three episodes this season. Really wasn't feeling it, but hopefully this one turns things around.